For this simulation, we're going to take a look at the data from Episode 9, Collection 1 of Mythbusters. And the question they were investigating in this, in this episode is, is yawning contagious? Um, 34 subjects were given a yawn seed, meaning somebody yawned in front of them, and 10 of those subjects actually yawned. 16 subjects were not given a yawn seed, but yet 4 of them still yawned. The sample proportions are therefore 10 out of 34, so 10 out of 34 yawned given the yawn seed, and 4 out of 16 didn't yawn, um, or yawned, even though there was no yawn seed. So is this result likely to happen by chance? Yes, these proportions are different. They differ by about 4.4%, but is this result likely to happen by chance if yawning really is contagious? So let's take a look at this by using a simulation in Fathom. Here we have an attribute called yawned, and we can see we have 50 observations corresponding to the 50 individuals. And we can see that I have 14 yeses here, which correspond to the 14 yawns that actually happened, 10 in the yawn seed group and 4 in the no yawn seed group. So what we're going to do here is we're going to sample some cases here. We're actually going to sample um, 34 to represent the 34 that were given the yawn seed and we're going to um, do this without replacement. Once I've chosen a person and tested them, I'm not going to test them again. They're just tested once. So here we're going to select 34 cases and if there really is no difference between um, whether or not they would yawn given a yawn seed, um, we're thinking a person would be equally likely to yawn um, no matter which group they were put in, if there really was um, no yawning being contagious happening. So let's sample some cases here and take a look. We have 30, oh, I guess I forgot to replace it. Let's try this again. Um, replace the existing conditions. There we go. Sample more cases. And we have 34 cases here. We have some no's and some yeses. So some people yawned in this group of 34 and some people didn't. As a matter of fact, we could look at a graph and see what proportion actually yawned. In this case, 29.4% uh, yawned, um, and the remaining people did not yawn. Um, let's collect some measures. We're actually going to collect a total of four different measures. Um, here we're going to collect the count, which is actually going to be the count on the number of yeses, the number of people that yawned in that group of 34. So we have count yawned equals y, y for yes. And we had 10 here and we can see that that's correct. It has 10 cases here of yawns out of that group of 34. We're also going to uh, collect the proportion of yawns for each the yawn seed group and the no yawn seed group. So let's do the proportion of the yawn seed group. Let me show the full name of that variable there. And the proportion that yawned, um, in this group we saw it was 10 out of the 34, about 29%. So let's actually take our count, which we have 10, and divide by 34. So 29%, that's what we have here. We can see uh, down the bottom left it says 29.4% are yeses. And then we also want the proportion um, that yawned that were not given the seed. In other words, in this particular group we had 10 people that yawned. There was a total of four, uh, 14 yawns that happened. Uh, 10 of them yawned in the seed group, which means the other four yawned in the non seed group. It looks like this particular data is actually con the exact same data that the Mythbusters uh, got. So we had a total of 14 yawns and we're going to subtract the number of yawns that occurred in our yawn seed group. And there was 16 uh, total in the no yawn seed group to begin with. So this actually matches the data that they actually got on Mythbusters. And now we're going to calculate the difference in the two proportions here. So we'll use the measures. 
the yawn seed group minus the proportion from the no yawn seed group. So it's a difference of about 4.4%, which I mentioned earlier. So that looks good. So um, let's actually collect some measures rather than just the one set, because that one set's not very interesting since it actually matches the Mythbusters data exactly. So let's collect some measures. We'll collect um, 100 measures and replace the existing cases that were in there, the five that were done. So let's collect our measures. And now we're going to take a look at a graph of the differences. And you can see here that uh, some of the differences are positive, some are negative, some are close to what the Mythbusters was. There's actually a lot of variation here from around a 23%, 32% difference to a 4% difference. Let's graph the difference in the two proportions. So we can see here that, that uh, zero is almost in the exact center of the distribution, which would indicate that there probably is not a difference between these two proportions. So the question is, you know, if yawning really is contagious, then the proportion of people that yawned given the seed should be significantly higher than the proportion of people that did not yawn uh, given, uh, given that they had no seed, yawn seed. So let's take a look here. The, the proportion that was on Mythbusters, the difference was 4.4%, uh, which would be right around in here. So is the results that Mythbusters got, is that likely to happen by chance alone? Um, and the answer is yes, it's actually very likely that we see something like that by chance alone um, or even something a little bit more um, rare than that. Um, but when we take a look at this distribution here for the simulation, um, we can see that, you know, as a matter of fact, the difference could be um, the other way around. Um, it could be that, um, you know, given that somebody yawns in front of you, you're more likely not to yawn uh, versus yawning. So. This actually, um, I think uh, on the show, they said 4% was actually a big enough difference to say that yawning really is contagious. But I think we can see from our simulated data here that these results are likely to happen by chance. So really, the yawn being contagious myth is, um, is not confirmed by their data. It's actually busted.